want to share some memories and stories about the 25th uh, anniversary of Rosewood. Excellent. So tell us a bit about yourself and why you maybe first came and what keeps you coming. Okay, great. Uh, my name's Adam Burke. I am a classroom music teacher these days, but back in the beginnings of, of Rosewood, I wasn't. I was muso, and I had some strong connections with the Geelong Folk Music Club. And at the time, way back when, 25 years ago, I played in a band with Aid Kelly, and Aid Kelly was looking after... He was the treasurer of the Geelong Folk Club at the time, and I was on the committee and doing some work. Aid came to me one day at a gig or something and told me that he was going to the Grampians uh, for the first for the first camp site which he didn't I don't even remember that I knew what it was called or what it was about I'd been to Taramara lots of times and, and I said it'll be great you'll have a great time come with me it's going to be fantastic so I went and camped with Aid on the first year and we went with Myra I think ha had just an amazing time at the original site up in the Grampians so that first year that I went was a real eye-opener for me. It was great. It was just a, it was a completely new site and it was a whole bunch of new people, some of who I knew, a whole bunch of people that I didn't know. Um, and, yeah, had, had the best time. And uh, didn't, didn't go to heaps of workshops but just spent a lot of time in the campground, a lot of time playing music yeah, and loved it. And, and for me, that was the thing that I loved about Rosewood in particular was playing music with other people, just the, the community playing music with other people. So, so in, in the next few years, attending with other people who I was friends with, who I was musically friends with, who played similar styles of music to me, and we just played in the campground for, for days and days and days in a row in the campground and, um, and didn't participate a lot in the workshops, a little bit, but it played in the concert and played in the welcome concerts and did the dance and all of those things too. So, so that, was, that was, you know... 25 years ago, so I would have been, you know, in my 20s around that time. So, and um, since then, the family's grown. Yeah. Up, so, so si since then, um, along have come, along has come, um, kids and family and all of those things. And then we started bringing kids to Rosewood uh, back when I was at the Grampians still, and uh, stayed in those tiny little cabins when the kids were only tiny. Um, and then as they got bigger. Uh, ventured out into the campground again where, where we had been previously uh, and just kept coming every year. So um, uh, when the kids got a little bit bigger, uh, Danny had some invitations to come and teach the whistle parts uh, for the beginner's whistle and it was very popular at the time and she did that for a number of years, not in a row, but sort of on and off and on and off for a few years. And um, so we would just regularly continue to go every spring. And, and it was awesome. And, and then the kids have got bigger and bigger and bigger and then they got interested in stuff and we got interested in teaching more music and then teaching marimbas and then Lindsay Pollock came from Queensland and we really got interested in marimbas and started making them and started a relationship in schools with Andy and doing all the work with marimbas and on and on and on it goes. Is there a kind of a story or a memory, if I was push you to yeah, yeah, do yeah. that, that you might like to share with us? Um, my strong, a lot of my strong memories, a lot of my strong memories about Rosewood are from the original site, and they have to do with camp, playing music in the campground with some of my other musical musical friends, Mark Wardle and Chris Ellis, and a whole bunch of Matisse and, and a whole lot of those guys playing in the in the campground, and and uh, yeah, a lot, lot of great memories, and from Taramara as well, but but Rosewood in particular, um, and the, and the weather at the other side. You know, the, the weather at Rosewood is always interesting. It's either beautiful or it's pouring rain or it's freezing cold or it's really hot. And with some new friends here from Gippsland, when they first made their first outing, they travelled all the way from Gippsland to the Grampians. And it was one of those years where it was like last year. It was just pouring rain, sheets of water on the ground and trying to, yeah, set up campsites in those crazy conditions and still having a great time. And Adam, with... What do you think it's meant for the kids? Um, it gives the kids it gives the kids this sort of um, this annual cycle of what's what's a better way to say it? it it's Rosewood and Tara as an experience are there for them every year, you know, twice a year, every year, and it's just long enough to feel like 
it's been ages since I've been, but it's not long enough for them to really forget too much about what the experience was like last time. So by the time they cycle around to it. So, you know, kids operate in cycles, you know, school year operates in big cycles of like terms at a time and like a whole year cycle. And I think that the Rosewood kind of Taramara, if you're, in, if you're involved in both, is a great cycle of, of ideas for the kids to be involved with every time it comes around, every six months or whatever. And um, the, the structure is really solid and, and doesn't really change too much. And I think that's a really important thing that kids can understand what it is and what it's going to be and what it will be and that they can, you know, create their own identities about who they are while they're here in amongst that structure. And I think that's a really good thing too. And it's really important that they can share all the things that they learn with all the other people that they meet and that they get to grow up and see other adults actively engaged in making music and that's really important too. And it's a great safe environment for kids to take risks and try new things that they wouldn't otherwise necessarily have op musical opportunities to do that and social opportunities to, to meet other kids that are like-minded in the same age as them or sometimes older or younger and, and do other interesting stuff with. So. It's a great environment, it's a great safe, structured and unstructured environment for kids to take risks in and grow up and learn stuff and do things and try out who they are and, you know, develop an identity for themselves. And thanks, Adam, for doing your wonderful contribution <laughs> to, to this wonderful No worries, community. I, I, I just try and do what I can, so, um, but, it's, but it's a beautiful thing and I love being involved in it, it's great.